Mr. Reed, I know the Sentinel has been campaigning against the protection rackets in the city. Who is this? Never mind who I am. But if you want a big story for your newspaper, you send a reporter to the Golden Lotus Cafe as soon as possible. What's the matter? Somebody calling about the Sentinel's crusade against the protection racket. And a tip that something's about to happen at the Golden Lotus Cafe. The Golden Lotus? You know it? Yeah. Get the Black Beauty ready. Good. They're closing. What are you doing here? You can't use our tongue this way any longer. <laughs> the Ko Yang is my tongue now. I'm warning you. Nobody wants Lo Sin. Well, uh... What do you want? Tribute to the benevolence of Tso Yang Tong. Benevolence? You mean blackmail? Get out! We're willing to be reasonable, Wing Ho. I say get out! Or I call police! Another challenge for the Green Hornet, his aide Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. into a little ambush.
You may have killed him. No, no, Mary, I had nothing to do with it. You must believe me. And although the attack on the Chinese restaurant owner had all the aspects of Tong rivalry, long believed obsolete, it is suspected that something more malevolent is really the case. As the Daily Sentinel has reported in a series of articles in recent weeks, there has been a resurgence of the vicious extortion racket in this city. It is the Daily Sentinel's belief that this criminal operation is now attempting to invade the city's Chinese community. Well, I'm certainly glad that your newspaper is taking that position, Britt. I never could buy that Tong war angle. Somebody is using the Tong for his own purposes. There's one person that knows who it is. Jimmy Key. You think so? I'm positive. Well, Mary Chang thinks he's one of the gang. She's wrong. That mask was not his. He was unconscious during the raid. Frank, we've got to find that boy. I've got a hunch we're not the only ones after him. If he poses the threat to the Tong, and they're after him, they're going to silence him permanently. I'll have the police put every available man on the search. Good. Kato? Yeah? Talk to Mary Chang. See if she knows where Jimmy Key might be hiding. Okay. You know, if we ever meet up with that masked Kung Fu man again, I want him. You got him. Praying Mantis School of Kung Fu has 500 years of refinement in it like a wise founder. You can learn much from watching the mantis himself at work. Note the tightness of the defense. Elbows well tucked in. My friend, you have a few things to learn yourself. Haven't you heard? Heard what, Mr. Slake? That old man you beat up last night. He's in pretty bad shape. So? So you're supposed to get the merchants down here to buy our insurance. Not to put him in a hospital or a cemetery. I'll handle things my way. As long as you're working for me, you'll handle things my way, and don't forget it. I could kill you with one try. About that kid, the cops are looking for, the one that saw you go in the cafe last night. What's his name? Jimmy Key. I guess you realize if we don't get him before they do, we're in serious trouble. Jimmy Key will come to me. All I have to... You'll do it. Don't talk about it. I guess you have this outfit under control. The old man of the Tonga frightened. The young man are with me. Except one. Now you find him. I decided to go to Tsoi Yen, see if I could get somebody there to talk. And when I was walking in, who do you think I saw coming out? Well? Duke Slate and a couple of his boys. Who's Duke Slate? Among other things, he's the boss of protection racket on the west side. And now he's expanding into Chinatown. Looks like it, doesn't it? Let's keep the lid on this until we get the whole story, okay? Sure. You know, sometimes I can see a bit of your old man in you after all. Rest his soul. I hope you realize that's probably the highest compliment you'll ever receive. I know, Miss Case, and it, it humbles me. <laughs> Mr. Reed's residence. Kato, this is Mary. 
Yes, Mary. I know where Jimmy is. Where? In the old Buddha temple at the end of Mandarin Park. He called. Asked me to meet him at nine o'clock tonight, but... But what, Mary? I, I don't know what to do. I can't explain. Something is happening. I have a feeling I'm being watched. Mary, this is Britt Reed. Where are you? The restaurant. Stay there. I'll have Miss Case, my secretary, pick you up. And take you to her apartment. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. Just stunned. We'll take him to Scanlon. Maybe he'll tell Frank what happened outside the Golden Lotus last night. He will. I know Jimmy. Then Frank will have Duke Slate and his Chinese hatchet in right where he wants him. case. Mary Chang's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? But why? You think Jimmy Key will talk if it means endangering Mary's life? No. Obviously Duke Slate and his Chinese friends don't either. Okay. We've got Jimmy. They've got Mary. What do we do now? There's one thing we can't do. We can't turn him over to Scanlon. Although the police refuse to speculate, it is believed the mysterious disappearance of Miss Mary Chang is connected with a protection racket which has been operating recently in Chinatown. I hope your plan works. It will. Jimmy Key is no fool. Get that. I wouldn't if I were you. What is this? feeling we've met before. Not now. Let's talk. What have we got to talk about? Mary Chang. Who? And the reason she's been kidnapped. I don't know what you're talking about. You kidnapped Miss Chang to force Jimmy Key into giving himself up in exchange for her release. Then you plan to kill him to keep him from talking. You sure you're at the right address? It won't work, Slate. Key can't give himself up to you. I have him in my possession. What's your interest in Jimmy K? Purely monetary. What does that mean? It means I'll be happy to turn him over to you for $25,000. For $25,000? Get out. Friend of yours? He works for me. You should teach him some manners. Hold it. You're not going to deal with him? You got any better suggestions? Yeah, let me handle them. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You. Now stay out of it and shut up. All right, it's a deal. One more thing. I want Mary Chang. 
She should be worth some dollars to her uncle when he recovers, if he recovers. Now about the delivery of Jimmy Key. Where and when? Midnight tomorrow night at Soyan headquarters. No, I prefer a more neutral territory. Say the Buddhist temple. At the end of Mandarin Park. <laughs> Until tomorrow night. Until tomorrow night. You've got Jimmy Key here? In the basement. Cato fixed up a guest room for him. It's comfortable and escape proof. Do you have any idea where he is or who you are? No. He was unconscious when we brought him here. What makes you think you'll be able to spring Mary Chang? Lo Sing will have his whole gang of thugs there at the temple. You can't handle them all. From what I've seen of Lo Sing, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. All right. I'll have a couple of police cars standing by, and I'll uh, keep these handy. <laughs> taking me now. You'll see. My father was head with Soy Yim for 30 years. I'm glad he didn't live to see what you and Lo Sing have done to our Tom. Lo Sing and I? Don't kid me. You're partners. <laughs> Lo Sing's gonna be pretty surprised to hear that. <laughs> Get on the steps. Good evening, Mr. Slate. Get out. You too, Slate. What's he saying? He's calling Lo Sing a traitor to the Tong. And he's telling others to remember Zhou Ying's honorable history. He's pleading others to overthrow Lo Sing. All right, let's get this over with. I'll take the money and the girl and... All right, what is this? Where's the money? I do not pay tribute to anyone. Took it quite a... Far enough. Now give him the money and let's wrap this up. You better listen to him, Lo Sing. I no longer take orders from Mr. Slate. Big talk. But that's all that it is. Lo Sing, you are nothing without me. He's nothing with you. I was willing to let you two operate, provided you played it straight with me. As of now, you're out of business. Now, who makes the big talk? Is that all you think it is? How would you stop us? Gong 
food? Isn't that the traditional way? All right, hold it. Now, we're not playing any games. Stay out of this slate. What do you say, Lo Sing? Man against man. Slate is right. What's the matter, Lo Sing? The stake's too high? You afraid you might lose? I'll kill him as I would a fly. More big talk. This man is your leader, your hero. He backs down like a woman. Enough! Questions? Untie me. What now? That's up to Jimmy. Lo Sing is finished. So ends the evil times this town has fallen upon. Now let's be wise enough to return the Tai Yuan to the tradition it represents. The tradition of my father. Okay, move in. We're not needed here anymore. another toast. Welcome back, Wing Ho, and a speedy recovery. Okay, okay. And I want to make one, too, to the Soi Yin and Jimmy for restoring the Golden Lotus. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll get it. Hey, this is the sixth course. Don't we get a breather? There's still two more before the main course, Mr. Oxford. You can serve mine under the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you, Mr. Axford. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Brit, mm -hmm. that was Sergeant O'Mallory. The cops have got a guy trapped on the top floor of the Century Bank building. So? It's the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? So Sergeant O'Mallory thinks. Well, aren't you coming? Well, not till I finish my almond duck. Almond duck. You're going to look pretty funny if it is the Green Hornet. Well, I can't argue with you there, Mike. Say, would you like some more peach chow yuk? Mm, I'd love some. Ah! <laughs> 